all about options and keeping this whole thing dynamic. Action! Hi, welcome to the Student Health Show, a production by students for students. I'm your host for today, Sari. Today we'll be talking about vitamin D, the sunshine hormone. In the studio here, I have two guests with me who will be giving takes on their um, personal experience. Also, I have um, a food expert who would also give us advice here today. But first, let's take a look at what vitamin D is and why we need it. Research indicates that almost 50% of the UK population does not have enough vitamin D and this can go up to 90% in the winter. This fat soluble vitamin is essential for healthy bones, teeth and cartilage. A prolonged deficiency of vitamin D can result in weakening and softening of the bones. Vitamin D occurs mainly in two forms, D2 found in small number of foods and D3 a steroid hormone which is formed in the skin when exposed to the sunlight. Both forms are converted in the liver and activated in the kidneys. From then on, vitamin D influences many body functions, including the absorption of calcium in the intestines. There you have it, a brief debrief on vitamin D. Now, um, here in the studio, I have um, Naomi and Yasmin. At first, I'll start with you, Naomi. Please tell us, how did you happen to know that you are deficient yourself and how have you coped with it since? Well, there are actually three reasons. First of all, I'm Swiss and I live north the equator, so I don't get enough sun exposure in general, especially in winter. And secondly, I'm a student and I love designing computer games, so I simply didn't get out enough. And thirdly, even if I did manage to get out, I would use a lot of sun cream all over my body because my skin burns easily. There was simply no chance for the sun to get to my skin. But what I do now is I try to get out as much as I can and I stay in the sun without any cream for at least 10 minutes. Okay, that's good. All right, thank you, Naomi. Well, Yasmin, let's just bring you in in this. So, um, here it says that you were recently diagnosed with having um, vitamin D deficiency. So how did you find out and what has happened since then? Well, when I was studying nutrition, um, I learned about vitamin D, its deficiency symptoms and also the fact that dark skin need more time to the exposure of sunlight comparing to the light skin. I was experiencing aches and pains and felt tired every now and then and decided to visit my GP and then diagnose with the deficiency in prescribed supplements. I now make more effort to expose myself to the sunlight every now and then and um, at least 30 minutes a day because it's what's recommended and also um, trying to improve my diet. Thank you Naomi and um, Yasmin. Well, we'll get our food expert, Chiaka, now to give us advice on this important vitamin or otherwise um, hormone, especially at this time of the year, which is winter, which will need more of this vitamin. The sun really is the ideal source for acquiring vitamin D. In the winter, for example, however, we can top up on this vitamin through eating certain foods. There are not that many, but for example, animal-derived products are mainly rich in vitamin D. There could be eggs, liver, milk, and oily fish such as mackerel, herring, and the humble sardines. Then there are fortified foods where the vitamin is um, added um, into certain products such as fortified breakfast cereals, fortified drinks and margarine. And that's all from me. Thank you so much. And please remember, a healthy diet is a balanced diet. Thank you, Yaka. So, what have we learned today? Well. Whilst there is vitamin D in some foods, but the best thing to do is to get it from sun, at least 10 minutes a day for light-skinned people 
and about 30 minutes a day for darker skinned people. Vitamin D deficiency can be prevented. So, D up your body. Thank you to all my guests and our food experts and see you next time. Cut. Cut.